Hey, 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 this is BA, and welcome to WD GAN Math Basics for Price, Part 1. In this, what we're going to be seeing is a uh, very uh, important letter. WD GAN never really wrote uh, out his formulas and stuff anywhere and just, you know, put them in a book or, or for anything. But as we're going to see, uh, as luck would have it, he did write out a certain material for Mr. Spawn. And when Spawn died, his son uh, passed it along to us. And so that's how we have it. Um, and what you're seeing is uh, I consider to be very important. And we'll get into that. Okay, now this is the first letter. Notice it's written to Mr. John H. Spawn. It's signed W.D. Gann. And here's the date, April 1st, 1926. And this is going to be important in just a second. Now what you're looking at is commonly known as the uh, Gan Coffee Letter or May Coffee Letter. Uh, he's got a date up there, but that's actually for price. The day that he wrote this is, and this, by the way, was also Mr. Spawn's material. That's how he got it was uh, March 20, 1954. So you do the math on that. You're just shy of 28 years, meaning that these two had known each other. They had been corresponding for almost 28 years. Okay, and this is what he writes. Remember that you have signed an agreement not to reveal these rules and instructions to anyone. And by keeping these secret discoveries confidential for your own use, you will later receive the very important circle of eight average and the mean of five formula, which is only taught to students who have taken the same course as you and have and do not reveal it to students who take the minor courses and pay less money wishing you success i am w d gan now this is this is important these guys had known each other or been corresponding for twenty eight years and he writes this to spawn talking so you can see the importance of this letter and it's often overlooked because you know where else uh do we go to to actually find out the techniques that gan was using um, and, and this is it, you know, let's let Gan say it himself. So what we're going to be doing in this series is we're going to be learning about, uh, how Gan works with price, but here's the deal. And this is an extremely important point. One of the things that you're going to be missing in this, that you need to get this fully operation is the time cycles. The time cycles will make all this work. OK, because they underlie everything. They tell you when the turns are going to come in and they tell you which turns are connected to what. OK, so the time cycles are the critical key that you have to have to make this work. Now, Mr. Spawn already knew those cycles. And so Gan gave him this letter to to use the price on top of those cycles. There's, OK, so we need to keep those in mind as we go through this. But, you know, everyone wants to know what was Gan doing with price? You know, how was Gan able to call price so well and you know we'll get into that here in just a minute okay what uh what we're going to do is i'm going to read this line by line instead of marking this up with with math and stuff i've transferred the first four lines over to slides i'm going to go back and take a look at that okay uh the the slides and stuff because that way i can show you the math of each one now as we progress in this, it's going to get trickier. Gan makes it more and more difficult as you go on this, and he does it purposely. Okay, so this letter kind of builds on itself. All right, with that warning, let's go take a look at the slides. Okay, Gan, first line up there was one point to one degree, eight thousand seven hundred twenty-nine equals twenty-nine Gemini. How do we get that? B A. 8,729, subtract out all of the 360s as you can. This is called modding 360, and the remainder's 89, which equals 29 Gemini. Now, so what you do is you type into a calculator 8,729, you just keep subtracting all the whole 360s as you can until you get down, and you'll be left with a remainder that you can't go any further unless you go below zero of 89. And that 89 is transferred out. It's equivalent to two signs plus 29 degrees, which, of course, is Gemini, for those of you that know that conversion. Gan, this is from his second line in that coffee letter. Scale of 30 points to one degree equals 21 Capricorn. Yay. 
Take 8,729 and divide it by 30. Okay. We get 290.9 or 291, if you round up, which is 21 degrees Capricorn. All right. Now, why 30? I mean, he says scale of 30 points to one degree. I mean, why not a scale of 50 or 100 or, you know, 1,000, whatever? The reason is, and, and you'll understand this more later, is the 30 scale is the Saturn scale. Okay. The 30 scale is a, because Saturn takes 29.5 years to make a complete revolution. So he uses the scale of 30 for Saturn. Okay. This is line three. Gan, Jupiter scale of 12 points to one degree. Notice that Jupiter takes 12 years to make a revolution. And here we got 12 points on the Jupiter scale. To one degree equals 7.5 Aries. BA, 8,729 divided by 12 equals 727.4 minus 720, which is two circles, which equals 7.4 Aries. Okay, just a little bit off from his 7.5. He's going to start throwing in stuff down the road that makes this even more difficult. We're just warming up. Gan, one cent to one degree equals 27 Gemini 16. BA, how, you know, how do we arrive at that 27 Gemini 16? Well, we take 8,729. We put a decimal there. Okay. And if you look at that 87.29... It equals 27 Gemini-ish. Again, you have two signs, which is 60 degrees plus 27 degrees left over. It's 27 Gemini. And your 16th is close to the 0.29. Um, the way to convert, there's an easy way. I'll give you that conversion. There's an easy way to convert from uh, what's called decimal, which we have on the left here, into the zodiac, which we have on the right, the 27 Gemini. The way to do that is uh, if you're going to decimal, divide by five and then times it by three. Okay, so if you got um, 87.29, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, do the 0.29, divide it by five and then times it by three. Okay, and that's uh, 0.17 and he's got 16 uh, ish there. So that's the conversion on that. Okay, well, once again, welcome to the beginning, and this is B.A. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>